Hey guys, I'm back with another update for you. Um, we've got whips, two finishes, four new starts, haul, and my 2018 plans. Well, some of them. Firstly, I'd like to start with saying thank you to all my subscribers. I'm now at over a hundred. Um, I didn't think anybody would want to watch my videos, so thank you. Um, as I've mentioned before, I don't advertise the fact that I'm doing videos on the big groups like Stitch Mania and places like that. So, other than posting it on my Instagram feed and that, there's you know not much advertising. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I'm in preparation for Rudo. Seem to be blowing my nose a lot today just got over a cold it's been viruses and colds and yeah since I last spoke to you I want to thank you for all my new subscribers um, and all the lovely comments I've received since my last video if you're new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back okay so I'm going to start with my whip I've got my iced coffee because my voice feels like it's going to keep going. Okay, these are in no particular order. First one is the Lakeside Needlecraft and Doreen Jones Halloween set. And here we are. And we're all up to date. Let me just move this binder. There it goes. Okay, since I last saw you, I finished off this third block here. And then we had the fourth block come out this week. So I am now up to date and there's two more sections to come out. Uh, the next one is on the 3rd of October, so just over a week, a week and a half. Love this one and it's nice and easy to stitch up, no more than two days per section basically. Even the board didn't take that long to do on it, it's one colour. I just thread up a load of free ten, and away we go. Okay. Um, okay. Next up, again, Lakeside Needlecraft and Doreen Jones. Oh, I've got to say that's on the thirty-six count exclusive fabric in pumpkin, I think. Okay, the next one is the Christmas at Home sale. Okay, since I last saw you, I finished off the other half of the first room and I finished off the bathroom. Um, anybody that's seen this will know that I've changed quite a few bits. Uh, on the sink and on the bath, it was meant to have some red and some pink. I changed that, I just had a white bath and I changed the foot so it was a silvery colour. I changed the floor so it was a grey and white. I've added a little ducky because who can't have a duck in a bathroom? This was, had snowmen, it was like a picture, I've changed mine, so it's like a mirror. And then here I had a shower curtain and you could see part of the windowsill and the soldier, I've changed mine. So it's actually a blind. <coughs> the next room is out. But by the time I finished that one and then I went straight on to this one and this seemed never ending for me. <laughs> um, I got a bit burnt out. So I will come back to this one. Just 
I needed a break so I've still got to finish the roof for the border but the rest of the borders done by for I think there's a bit of snow to add down here <coughs> I noticed that when I um, checked out I'd finished and I'm not going to keep saying sorry for coughing because I've got told off for keep saying sorry so yeah sorry I'm not sorry <laughs> Okay, what else have I got? Okay, this next one I have got a couple of bits to unpick out of it. Okay, um, and I forgot to say that's the Exclusive fabric in 36 count even weave. Okay, this has still got <coughs> thread on it because I realised I'd gone wrong and put it away. <laughs> okay, I'd last. This is a Lakeside and Doreen Jones on Dursley. I'd last got up to the sub. Now, I started the seahorse, fine, had the pattern, looked at the wrong seahorse, so this, of course, is miles too far down. It's got to be up here, so I've got to unpick all of this. So, I will do that, I just haven't picked it back up. So, I've started filling in, and yeah, I was in the wrong place, so I just put it down, and I haven't touched it since, so... Yes, I need to unpick all this and then hopefully it'll be right. And this is a 28 count um, exclusive fabric for the Lakeside Needlecraft as well. And I'll link her website to Kate down below so that you can purchase them if you want to, they're all still available. Okay, next up, the rest of these are going to be new starts. Okay, <clears throat> this one is slightly different, it was a new start but it is still classed as cross stitch. A Vervico kit. And if you bear with me one second, I'll get the okay. <clears throat> Vervico kit and it's horse friendship. And as you can see, it's counted as cross stitch. Um, <coughs> it's 16 by 16. I've worked all the way along with the background and then I've started filling in. And this is the first time I've done anything like this. And they're all done. So they're all done in full crosses. They're not perfect or anything but, but this is my first time and one of the things that did annoy me is these, I had no idea which colour was which. This was on here, um, but that was the only one. The rest of these I had to sort out and decipher from the actual cover photo which was which. So that I found a bit annoying because I was I struggled to try and decipher which was which and there's another brown and a black um, but I think I've got those right because I used that one to match up the dark brown which is 
And that one up here, so the next one should be one that isn't that but is darker. That's the only one I haven't put in. And then black, I could see which was black. <coughs> okay, next up is another new star and it's still on the EQ snuff. I was organised, obviously not. Okay, it's Dimensions Kit. Season, no, sorry, Spread the Joy. I showed you this in my last video. I said I was going to start it on the 17th, then I did. And here's my progress. I did that block, that block, that block. Um, except for the back stitch and these French knots, which I'm really pleased with. You can see, I've got the glare of the blind. I'm really pleased with those French knots. And then since then, I've added the tree, some more of the banner, and the back stitch around that section and around the letters and that made it really pop so as you can see that's the middle bit I plan I think to go down to the snowman next finish that end off and then go up and do the top I haven't worked on this for a couple of days but I'm planning on coming back to it I said that with Paddington and never did. <laughs> I think after a week of solidly just working on that I'd got burnt out so I'm hoping to get this done because I love the colours in this. Um, quite further down so I won't pull it off. They're all on this. The only thing I don't like is you can see the threads poking through. Well inside they're on like a little sticky pad. Except it's a big one because it's going all the way around. I can show you a bit better. Bring it up a Sunday size, perfect time to come in. So it's on a sticky pad. So as you can see from there, no, you can't because that's the top. Okay, what I have done, if you can see that bit sticking out, because you were getting the residue of the sticky pad, what I've done is I just snipped the thread close to the card, and then yeah, you lose in that much of the thread but you're not getting any of the residue on it um, I think all the dimension kits now come with cards like this so if it was pre-sorted which is absolutely great I haven't got to sort them out that's the only downfall now I can't get this back in the pocket <coughs> Yeah, and that's spread the joy. I picked this up from so and so, but I'm sure there's plenty of other places it's got it. I picked it up when it was on sale. And the full size when it's finished is just 5 by 17. It says it comes with a 14 count ivory Ada. <clears throat> now, when I'm stitching this, I mean, some of you might say, yeah, that's 14 count. But my stitches don't look like 14 count. It looks more like a 16 count. I mean I can be I could be wrong. It could be 14 count. Maybe it's just because it's a really stiff Ada. But to me it's not 14. So I'm I might be wrong. Okay, next 
is a new start and a finish. Cookies and milk for Santa. And this is from Tiny Tidings 7. So that one up here. I didn't buy the embellishment pack for this, so I didn't have the heart. Um, I just stitched it on. Uh, quite a few of these colours I didn't have it called for, so I just pulled weeks, except for Round the Milk glass. Uh, all of it's weak style works, that's DMC Round the Milk. Um, some of the colours were what they called for and some weren't. Um, but I just pulled them out. And I love how sparkly the needle mind is showing up. All my needle minders are from Needle Keep Emporium from Catherine. I'll link her shop below. And I just stitched this on a piece of 18 count Rustico, I think it is Ada. Just cut a piece. Yes, it's too big. Um, but I wanted it to go into my cue snap and not be right on the edge. And I'm going to finish this off into an ornament. So that'll be one of my finishings to get round to. I was hoping to get my greenhouse self sorted. But the frame I bought doesn't fit. <laughs> so I'll have to wait now again. Okay, Laura, if you're watching this, go away for about two minutes and you can come back. Or you're going to ruin the, ruin the surprise. Okay, hopefully she's gone. I showed you this last time. Lizzie Kate, Friends Are Like Angels. And I'd done the border and the stars and I'd got most of Friends done. I have now finished it and I plan to make this into a cushion and it's going to be one of her Christmas gifts so yeah I really enjoyed doing this nice easy stitch um, I just did this all in DMC threads and it's on a piece of 28 count um, fairy dust I think sorry there's only part of it left fairy dust um, in cloud lilac um, it was just a scrap piece I had from a small piece somebody sent me so there are all my finishes I did have Um, one more new start but I'm going to come to that at the end of the video because I want to go into my 2018 plans and one of those new starts there's only a small start um, is part of the 2018 plans So I'll go into all my stitchy plans and whatnot. Um, same just before I do the 2018 ones. Just excuse me a moment. Sorry, nose was running again. Okay, so. I'll go into plans. If you want to see those, you have to skip forward probably 20 minutes. I've got quite a bit of haul. Um, and it's going to calm right down after this. Um, but I have been doing some kitting up. So I've got this box. I'm going to be knowing what I've bought just from seeing this. But I'll get to that as I get down because this is now going to be my haul box that I keep hauling to show you guys. So 
first of Boring Park I purchased this it's the Charles, DMC Charles Craft it's 28 count it's a Monaco fabric uh, 28 count even weave Lugana or Monaco Lugana in white 20 by 24 inches I got this from Cat Sex Stitch I think she's called again I'll link her below but that'll come in handy uh, one thing else I did buy actually which I put away Sorry, I thought I put it in my fabric drawer. It's obviously not in there. Oh, not sure. I bought a uh, dye, um, pale brown. So a lot of things like Lizzie Kate's call for quite neutral fabric. So I wanted to try dyeing my, my own. Um, so I mean, this wasn't expensive. So I thought I might try dyeing some of this. I've got loads of Ada in drawer, loads of scrap pieces I could like do a test run with and things like that. But I thought this might be great for dyeing with, um, even if it's just to do like Lizzie Kate bits and things. So I want to give that a go. Um, I might also try the bacon based um, tea and coffee dye that Vonna Pfeiffer has a tutorial on. Um, I'll link her blog down below for you and that's on there um, she also does lots of tutorials and finishing techniques and whatnot I'll link her uh, YouTube channel I'm sure everyone knows Vonna <laughs> okay now what goodies do we have in here okay really boring bits I ordered from a Tewksbury Leisure Craft colours out and they come pre-bobbined which is allowed for this company and as you can see they're quite big bobbins if I get a bobbin on here yes I do okay so this is a big difference but they're on them and buying for that colour which is wrong which I've had to phone up it's meant to be 12 free tens so I got 12 free 12s so she's sorting that out for me and I've got to send these back um, but yeah the pre done and these are just the excess that I need for Hades I needed like 13 white I think it was and 12 free 10 um, so any duplicates I need because Heaven and Earth had a 45% off sale. So what did I buy? Some Heaven and Earth charts. So while I'm on that I'll um, show you those because they're saved. Oh my. Okay, no particular order. My daughter chose this one. Punch of Colour Girls 4. And as you can see, that's probably where I need all the white and the free ten for. Um, that one. The next one I had been eyeing up for a while. Um, since I saw it posted on Instagram. ornament the old ye, the ye old craft room the first one is a full size these are obviously smaller 
ones. Okay, this one was also in my wish list. Mini smiles in my cup. And the next one. And this is true with me. I've got a bookcase full of books and always reading off my Kindle. So many books, so little time. And it's the mini version. Oh, it's probably so cute. And that's the last one. While I'm in here, I will show you a couple of others. I purchased no particular order I bought five for just over ten pound and then another one that I bought I can't remember her shop name but I will find it and link it down below little Pikachu and Stitch they're from Etsy owls Mickey and Minnie Mouse. She did this in this colour variation and like a dark blue colour variation. I chose this. Then we've got Hogwarts Express, nine and three quarters. Again, this one she had the other colour variation for Disney Castle. Cheshire Cat. I am not crazy. My reality is just different to yours. Well, than, than yours, sorry. That's cute. And then uh, another one for my son. Pokemon Bulbasaurus, if I'm saying that right. This one, she actually mixed up. It was meant to be um, a different chart, um, but she sent me the other one that I was meant to get because they were both labelled under the same one. This isn't what I wanted to get. Dream big, start now. Um, no idea whether I'd ever stitch that one. And. I haven't actually got a picture of this one. Let me try and get it out. So bear with me a moment. If I go into my Etsy app, I'll be able to tell you who it is, and that's where the picture of this one is because I think it's saved into my Dropbox. L's cross stitch is who I purchased from okay this is another one which isn't in my Dropbox I'm gonna have to find that or re-download it I purchased this one first because of it being a new person I didn't know whether I'd like it or not and look how cheap that was pound eighty two. I wasn't sure if I was going to like their PDF layout, their instructions, um, you know, their symbol, that kind of thing. So I thought I purchased this one. It does actually say if you can see US dollars, two dollars forty. So she's probably um oh it's gone all over into US dollars now. Um so yeah it's two dollars forty um not quite sure where she's from but yeah and there's no 
now changing them into dollars. Okay, I can't remember how much this was in my pounds, but you can choose any eight patterns for sixteen dollars. $16.20 all you do is you choose your um, eight patterns and in the notes part before you while you're doing your order you just put down the um, they all start with any S O or any pattern starting with an S um, you can choose those and you just put them in the notes and then she'll email you and she did it really quickly it was within 24 hours um, I should email you all the PDFs in a zip file so you can just go ahead and download them and like I said I had one that she double um, had as the same one and she got back to me straight away um, and resent it okay so this was the one that I did want not all those who won that I lost so that was the one I wanted um, so yeah and they were all the PDFs I did buy and I am just going to leave my phone on my Disney run so that I remember to download that again after the video because I don't know where that's gone another bit of boringness came in today Wraps up. Boring and probably won't interest many of you. But a bunch of tiny, tiny magnets. So that's my phone. To put it on silent. Um, I since I last saw you, I'll show you them now. Since I last saw you, I'd shown you loads of bits that I got to make into needle minder as well. The magnets I'd had to come through were too big for the small ones I wanted to make, which I thought they would be. But I, met, I had a load of pin badges and things that I wanted to make up. But these, and I haven't checked because these only came in about half an hour before this video. I'm hoping we'll now fit them. Um, so here's a few that I have made. Ooh. Okay, some little caps. Um, some um, ice cream. These were just pin things, um, like notes for their like a rubbery. A rubber two magnets okay I just had to take the pin out of them okay this was an old owl I think I've got some more of him I've got a couple more of these to do but this was an old owl I'm sure I've got some more of him and he'd come unstuck from ages ago when I first made a couple now these four, for some reason, there in a second, it's on the floor. Oh. I'm hoping nothing that I need to show you is on that pile of which just fell. Okay, this here. Uh, as you can see, it came from the sea life, and it was a magnet as a fridge magnet. So I just put another, okay. and they're on a little chain, and these four were attached to it. This one I showed you last time. 
this was just one that my son gave me to make up. Um, this one I showed you last time. And then these are my Mario pin badges and Minion pin badges that I just took the pin badge part out and glued and made into numbers. And then just the excess magnets that I've got left. Um, I did make two up for my son. So two, two or three from a couple of bits that he chose. Um, but I've not got those because he took them. So yeah, I've got one more pin badge that I forgot to do when I found it in my handbag. Okay, next up, World of Cross Stitching. And this is issue 260 and this came in there's a few things in here I might like to do it came with this calendar I'll just flip through them uh, this is, I believe these are all charts that are in here without double checking. They're showing on, I think they're all, you get all the charts for these without double checking at the back. I can't obviously show you the charts. Slightly different. That one's like a goldy. Oh, that one's yeah. That one's like a goldy colour, and that looks like the stitch version. And that picture's not got a goldy colour. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. For a couple of them. Key for a couple more. And then the back. New planner. 2019 planner. And I better realise this could have used this last night while I was doing something. Never mind. And you can also use this straight away because it starts September and it goes through all the way to December next year and then there was this cute little design by Leslie Tear Tear, I'm not sure how you pronounce that um, so yeah, really cute um, these are bee bunnies well, who designs this? I have no idea, but yeah, that'd be funny. Unless they're actually inside the magazine, and I'll do a really quick flip through. Just so they're under license of intermediate company bbunny.com. So that then. Oh, yeah. I've got to say, those threads I bought are from here. And 
in the UK, if we go to a shop, we're looking for a pound per skein. Uh, normally I get mine from Lakeside Needlecraft because they're 59p. Um, but I thought I'd try this company. As they're only 50p. I know we'll do quite a few. You do pay postage, but that's at cost and it's not a lot. So yeah, I'll link them down below. Okay, we've got under the mistletoe. And that's by Lisa Alderson. It's really pretty. Got Joyce Joys of Harvest. And they're by Jenny Van Der Weel. Just gonna do a quick flip through because I've got more to get through. Pet of the Month by Doreen Jones. Got the Shining Light Alphabet. Obviously I can't show you the rest of them because yeah. And they're by Shannon and I've butchered the last name so I'll just show you. Then we have Seasons Greetings by Amanda Gregory. It's really pretty. Maybe made theirs into a cushion. A wreath. Itchy leg. I'm sure I don't get itchy until I start this video and then yeah, most people it's itchy nose for me. Okay, we have Design Library and it's a festive one this time. Christmas Delights. Um, and they're by Deborah Page. Next, no case like home. There's home sweet home. I think this is really pretty. And that's by Doreen Jones. And you can actually buy what this has been made into. Um, it's a round wooden frame on a plinth measuring 17 inches, 18 centimetres diameter from turnstile. I've not looked to see how much they cost, but I thought that was a really cool idea. Next up we have Join the Festivities Cards by Doreen Jones. Trying to do a really quick flip through for you. I love this one, it's by Lucy Heaton. Countdown to Christmas. It's got a clock. How cute is that? It's been finished off in a hoop. this one and I'll probably stitch this one. It's Say It In Stitches by Rona Nori. There we go. Your opinion is not in the recipe. I don't know if I'd finish it like that. It is a cool idea. 
but if I was going to hang it in my kitchen, I'd probably want it in a frame. I like that one. Then we have uh, From the Heart by, is it Sidon Harrison? I'll show you. Siobhan? I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry. That's just a pretty little heart with Polly. Then we have Eastern Delights by Susan Bates. Not my thing, but it is somebody. This is what's due up next time. Smells like gingerbread. A little snowman. Um, Margaret's very little mouse and a Christmas tree. gifts get my dear of Fred's two Christmassy colour packs um, 46 fast and finished and tag charts to stitch with your threads so um, that will be a chart booklet and the two threads and I've actually worked with the um, Madeira metallic and it's actually better than DMC um, to work with. Okay, that's that done. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you really quick today. I was on a website called Sew It All. I saw it advertised by one of my Instagram um, people that I follow. I forget your name, so I'm really sorry. But I did take note of what you said. And I ordered thread organizer, and it's got a thread cutter. And it's got a writing panel. So, oh, and which I didn't realise. Not sure I'd trust them in there, but needle holders. Um, but yeah, I thought this was handy if you wanted to take a project out you've got your neat thread cutter in case you forget your scissors you can just put on however many strands of the floss that you want yeah thread number writing panel comes on the back that's got some sticky on, but you it was only like two pound or three pound um, I ordered a piece of fabric which I'm not going to show you because um, I've got a piece of fabric for the bands of variation so and then I went on there and I found this fabric and I was in love with it. The orientation of how it is on it is different to how I expected it's landscape rather than um, but it's still really really pretty. So I'm not going to give you a sneak peek of that and I'm not going to show you. You'll have to wait and see in my next video because that starts on the 1st of October. So I was going to do that from um, what I had in my stash. But after seeing that fabric I changed my mind and if it doesn't work I can go back to the one I had. And use this for something else because it's too pretty not to and I paid the extra to have the sparkle in it okay this pack was a grab bag of even wave and it was like nine pound okay piece of black 
show you really quickly. That one, and I think that one's actually from the fabrics that I've got is Cafe Ole. The grey. It's kind of got a sheen to it. It's definitely grey because on the other side it's white. So if I fold part of that up, you'll see the difference. It's like a grey, silvery colour. It's really, really nice. Not that big, but I'm sure I'll find something to put on it. It was meant to be all um, even with, but I have got two pieces of linen in here, Bridge of a Light Linen. And it's just a small piece, come in handy for a ornament or a curl. Uh, not overly keen on this one, but neutral. It's just the feel of it, it feels thicker and... I don't know. Not so bad on that side, maybe. I don't know. I'll use it on something, even if it's just a small little ornament or a card. I've got a green, red, and blue, a brownie tiny colour. a long thin piece of this I've got a bigger piece um, then this is a linen so there was two pieces of linen it's just a bright white My dog, I'm not expecting anyone, so small piece. I'm just a quite even move. Bear with me, I'm just gonna go see who that is. If I can. about that. Okay, that was my last piece of fabric. If I tried to pause you, I end up cutting you off. I don't really want to piece this together. I know it wasn't my daughter because she'd just be finishing school. Okay, so that's that bag. I'm not even going to try and pop these I'll back in. I'll do it after. Next up, I did a swap for one of my kits. I have one on Cross Stitch UK swap group and I've got this um, Sabrina the Bear, it's an anchor kit and I've done some of these before. Um, they're a Luca S design, that's the number, but it's just Sabrina honestly and I've done some of these before, in fact that was the first one I ever did of it. And then I did I did another one. 
anyway they're really easy to work with all sorted out for you and there's always loads of extra there we go. and it's on 16 count and it's a piece of um just, I have just seen it somewhere it's on Ada but I just saw it there obviously not Ada's in the pack here is somewhere because I have seen it there it's five up so there is no blind so it is there <laughs> oh dear Time for bed. Okay. I had a rack from Catherine at Needle Keep Emporium, um, but I'm not going to show you that yet. That will go into 2018 plans. But I did get these lavender and lace patterns off um, UK site for like a pound each. So we have that one. Okay, that's an Angel of Hope. And we have Earth Angel. she wanted fire fire there it is and I've seen um, Tasha stitch this one up um, I believe this one was out of print I don't know about the other two but yeah I picked these up for a pound each and another pound postage so that's those now the next lot is all from so and so there is quite a few bits but I ordered the so and so and select membership so you've got this nice deep box or treat bag it came with sand, uh, sand, sea, yeah, sand, sea, and cross stitch, and there's some really cool patterns in it. And I mean, it's got 14.99 retail price, and it's a thick book. I'm not going to do a flip through of this, but if I know there are people that have. But if any of my viewers do want a flip through of this, um, let me know and I'm willing to do a video uh, with a flip through of this. Um, I'm not going to do one today, um, but really easy patterns. Uh, there's even a, when I've had a look through here, there is, I'll try and find this one for you. small ones for each month so that was that it then came with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 15 DMC threads their most popular colours or some of the most popular colours should I say so yeah and then you've got two random kits. I presume a small one and a larger one. Got this small perming keyring. Cute. Everything you need, even the little tablet to make it into a keyring. And then I got this perming of Copenhagen. Cute. 
brilliant for silver. The VMC kit. That one is on a 14 count Ada and it's just two and a half by two inches. This one is 14 and a half by 17 inches, so quite big. It's on a linen. Just so 100% linen. I haven't opened it to see if it says, I'm not going to. Organised for you, some of them. So actually, I think they're all organised. If I look at that, you get the first few, and then it's all, all tied up to keep them together. And there's three cards, them pretty all organised. So, yeah, not sure if there's a needle in there. Most kits usually do. But yeah, that was my free kit. So, for this membership, it was one off cost for the UK only, I think. It was £25. For a year, you got all that. And then on top of that, you get um, double loyalty points. And you get um, free postage on any order, £5 or above. And I took advantage of that three or four times. As soon as you buy the membership, your postage is free. So if you want to buy it, but you want to order some other stuff, purchase your membership. Then, once you've done that, it's going to be on your account. Go back and buy whatever you're going to buy. No postage. As long as it's in the UK. Okay, I'm fit. These three, because I've got all the fairy tale ones that are out so far. Is Solar Stitch Cinderella. Then we have Rapunzel. And we have Sleeping Beauty. And on the back, it's just got the ones that are out. And at the bottom, I show you different ways to finish them. So that's that. Then the rest of this is from the sales. So I took three of these little kits. I come with the Ada, the thread, needle, and a little frame. Oh, that's a cute little bunny. And this cute little cat. So I thought they were really quick. Definitely one nighters. And then we have a bundle of chocks. I'll try to go through these. We've got a uh, Cricut Merry Little Stockings. I can't show you the You can tell what this, if you can stitch this chart from just that, good luck. And get a cute little button which goes just there on the tree. Not sure if I put that on or not because to me it doesn't need it. But okay. We've got Live Simply and that comes with a little button. It's that one I've put on goes up here. Not sure if I do it on black though. And then we've got a double. We've got and this one's yeah. Listen for reindeer and hang mistletoe. And it comes with little buttons. And ones for here. And then the others are little snow bits. And then we've got kitty string. 
Nutella level is okay. Yeah, I'll try and do these by design. Okay. Got another Lizzie Kate. Got Life is Better with Stitching Friends. And then Stitch Now Work Paper. And little buttons. And it comes with the fabric, which is 32 count lambful linen. hard and stiff actually but that's for your main chart and it says bonus chart inside it's the stitch now worry later chart um, that's included unless I'm missing a chart so if anybody's purchased this and you've got a different chart let me know please News. Then we have Midnight Cow. I think summer. Yep, summer's nearly gone. Been really cold here um, last couple of weeks, and then today it's like a summer's day. First day of autumn. Spring things. I think winter. Think autumn. Uh, I couldn't get the Fink Spring, that one on there. Um, so if anybody knows where I can purchase that, obviously I'm in the UK for the, um, the Spring one, if there is one. And then My Secret Garden. That comes with butterfly, a lock and a key charm. The butterfly goes up here. The lock, a padlock goes on the gate, and then there's a key over here. Oh, that's really pretty. Then we've got Forever Be True Love. It's love sampler. It comes with Cupid's little arrow, a key, and a heart. So. Cupid's arrow goes there, the key there, and the heart between the two little birds. Or dove, yeah, birds. So that's really pretty. Then I got Tidy Tidings 9, I think. My Roman numerals are right. Is that 9? X, Y, V. Again, I haven't bought the embellishment pack for this. And we've got Summer Crazy. And we've got Fall Crazy. These were all in the sale. Okay, next up. Little House Needlework. And we've got Mrs. O'Leary's Dairy Farm. That'd be cute in like the kitchen or something. We've got Pine Tree in. Into a little ornament. We've got Country Christmas. Again. Season of Hope. We've got the Spring. We've got the Summer. Um, I did have the autumn one, uh, but that went out of stock. So if anyone knows where I can get the autumn and winter for these, again in the UK, can you let me know, please? Then the rest of these are from Country Cottage Needleworks. Don't worry, we're right near the end. Christmas cookies. Um, Harvest Blessing. Give thanks for what your garden grows. And we've got joy, peace, love. Or joy, love, peace, sorry. And last one. Farm fresh. Be 
I'm going to go into plans for the wait, well, next few weeks, sorry, and for 2019. Okay, what are my plans? Well, today is the first day of autumn, and the Stitch Mania, sorry. Um, is the autumn sale so I'm going to stitch this up um, they come in spring summer autumn winter I've already st uh, stitched the spring and the summer um, I haven't done them as a one piece you can do but I haven't I've done them individually and framed them and I've had that one up in spring that one up in summer so now I need to get stitched in autumn so I can pop that up and they're just fitting like a 5x7 on Wonders. Um, mine's on a piece of 32 count linen and I'm doing them all on the same piece of fabric which I haven't bought through. Um, I plan to keep my Halloween sale up to date. Keep working on Spread the Joy. Obviously. Um, work some more on the Christmas at home I'm not going to say catch up because I'll probably get burnt out uh, we've got full coverage on the 5th and a new start we've got the bands of variation sale on the 1st of October and I know it's in part of the first band because we've got kind of a sneak preview in the welcome pack I'm really looking forward to that one. There is um, a Shannon, oh, I forget her last name. They are doing another sale that starts in January. That's Lakeside Needlecraft. Um, but I'm not doing that one. Well, unless I fall in love with it. And there was another sale announced yesterday that's coming out, but I don't know when. So yeah, keep an eye on Lakeside Needlecraft business page or the cell group for information on those. Um, other than that, just work on what not. Okay, I am going to go into the rack that I got. Okay, the lovely Catherine from Needlekeep Emporium. sent me, and it's not how it was because I did some test stitching last night, a piece of 20 count um, Magic Guide Easy Guide, and because she had two of these, fairy tale sample, I've just not got the camera. I'll read that. It says once upon a time it's how most is how most fairy tales start. Then add a questing maiden or a knight so pure of heart. Sometimes there is a treasure, princely frog or magic blade, dangers to be conquered or long journeys to be made, yet strength and courage triumph to the enemy's chagrin. The questing soul discovers that the hero lies within. She showed me this ages ago. I was like, oh, I love that. I was like, I need to get that. We should stitch it together. And then I don't know if she had two copies or whether she bought me this copy, but I love it. So thank you, Catherine. Um, and I'll go into that in a minute. Um, so because I've got that. 
had to get the bits for it. And I did debate doing it all in DMC. Um, but, yeah, you'll see why. So we've got acrylic, uh, very fine braid number four, 002 HM. Pretty gold. We've got Google Beads, 80168. This was another so and so order. So, again, making good use of the free postage. Then we've got um, Beads 03019. And then, I don't know if you're going to see this, I don't really want to take it out, let's try, can you see that, kind of, there you go, it's a little frog, and it's um, the treasure, and he goes, here. That's my door again. I can leave it wherever it is. Then we've got Water Lilies by Karen. And this one is Mulberry. So pretty. And then Water Lilies by Karen. Sky Blue Pink. Okay, and that was the accessories for that. I'm going to go see who this is again. Sorry.
really sorry guys if I can take that out I'm gonna try and edit that out um my daughter's got her friend staying over and her dad came to drop bits off and started chatting so if I can edit that out I will so that you've not got a long five minute gap hopefully you want to make yourself a good tea if I don't edit out when I say I was going to be back hopefully you'll fast forward till you see me coming back I'm really sorry all right I'll come back to that okay another thing I purchased on my very first take that off here no take that off my very first Mirabilla Mirabilla I've got Mirabilla I'm not sure how you pronounce it it's the Royal Games 1 and I love it I'm not a big um Mirabilla fan not that I don't love her designs they're just not me um, I don't do don't they're not things that I'd necessarily stitch I mean there are some gorgeous ones and uh, there I do love the Raven Queen and Christmas at London ones but to keep them up yeah but yeah so I purchased this and I went ahead and bought the Krennic and the Magnifica Beads, the expensive part. Well, the Krennic's not expensive, but we've got 202HL. It is different, I was about to say, I shouldn't have got two, it's different gold. I think, thinking it was the same as the other one, but it's not. Some of the shapes now. Pretty pink purple. Very five braid number very fine number four braid 007. And then Magnifica glass beads 10020. And they're really really pretty. Um I've still to get One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one of these are these. Yep. I've still to get the eight seed beads. Uh don't know when I'm gonna get them and I haven't got them in my stash. Um I'm looking on the chart, I just use quite a lot of each but I don't know when I'm going to get them yet need to cut down my spending a little bit at the minute uh, for reasons I won't go into right now so yeah still to get all these sea boots the rest is DMC floss which I've already got um, this isn't where I got it from so there are lots of designs on the front on the back um, but yeah, I didn't get that from there. I got it from Cat's Fix Stitch. Okay, that's the last. No, it's not. I lie. Yesterday, I received an email from Armada Designs. And she's the designer of the Nintendo sale that I showed you before. And she announced the new sale for next year. And I'm like, I've got all these sales I started this year and I haven't finished. And I knew I wanted to do the bands of variation. But I need to try not to do any more. Yeah, that's not going to last, is it? Okay she brought out class schedule and at the moment till monday it's got um it's at a reduced price i can't remember how much difference it is but at the moment i think it's 11 dollars for the chart pdf 
and they're all PDFs. You can buy the fabric, you can buy the fabric and the floss and there is also an optional needle minder. I haven't bought any of that because the shipping costs and that I just haven't. Um, but yeah it's class schedule and it's Hogwarts themed. Now, my kids love Harry Potter so it was a no brainer. So I purchased that and in the first PDF you get the banner, it says class schedule and it tells you, well it gives you a pattern for the block for February and then all the blocks by October are exactly the same and except different colours which she tells you so that you can get it all prepared. Um, so yeah, I pulled this out. I just I had a piece of 32 no sorry 28 count cashel linen spy got um, in smoky pearl I mean the design's not small molders sticking to each other okay I had a very very small start here and I've got my Hogwarts and my Harry Potter. Now this was the fabric I chose. She suggested um, a dark colour. But I did message her and said will this work. I did do a floss toss on it. Move that down. Um, And these are most of the colours. Um, so I've chosen this fabric thinking this was the only piece that I had big enough other than white. And I didn't want to go out and buy another hand dye and you know spend like another because the size of it um, I'd need it's going to cost me easy £20 for a hand dye. I've already purchased a hand dye for the Mirabilia and for the Fairy Tale and a couple of others, and I've got them due to come in. Um, and I wasn't expecting this start, and I didn't really want to pay out for another hand dye. But today, I had found this. So this is big enough. Unfold it. Blues and purples. I am now, especially as I've only done a tiny amount. Wondering if to use this. Alright, she knows. I mean, all the colours. I need to do a proper floss toss, but all the colours should go on here. I mean, the other one's probably a bit darker, but this has got more. I don't know, I think it's more that theme, and they are doing theirs on a grey but I was worried two of them would mix in if I went for a grey or a black so I wanted something different anyway um, so yeah I'm debating whether this will work and I only did a tiny little start last night so that's one piece of thread so I can easily pull that back out so I don't know Hey, uh, Emma's bag down by the cupboard. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's just got home. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to continue with that or that. So, to 
suggestions down below. I don't want to go out and buy fabric. Um, the only other thing was to try and dye some myself. Um, yeah, it's such a large piece I'm going to need. I'm scared of messing that up. And I didn't put my treasure away. I mean, I've got two of the threads actually. I'll put this away so I've turned it in the packet. This is what's used for the banner, um, and that's used for the border. I mean, they'll pop really well on there. And when I asked Amada, uh, Christy uh, from Amada Design, she said that she thinks that would be fine when I showed her my Floss Toss picture. So, none of those colours will blend. So I'm thinking now to do it on here. So, let me know what you think. I do want to start this pretty quick. So, anybody watches in a couple of days, let me know because I probably will want to start over the weekend but that one was just a a second but it's perspiring 16 count Ada and that is plenty big enough for what I need sorry I need to put this back in because I don't use this and I want to know what the fabric is etc so yeah that was my other new start okay um so then it brings me to my 2018 plans me and Catherine decided that we're gonna well I pushed her into it um she'd got charts I'd got charts we've got some of the same and I said right how about we do a four week rotation on a weekend because she's busy with her shop but weekend she can take the time off so we did and we said we were going to do four weekends in the month and work on four projects um, we both have this chart Really was. I'm just going to stitch that on a 20 count, 28 count, sorry, um, Joe Blaine in white. I need to cut that down, but this is a buzz. So the first week is sew to stitch, first weekend, shall I say. So we're going to start this be the 6th and the 7th of January. Um, and if I finish this before the year's out, I've got other fairy tale ones which will replace it. So, the first weekend is Soda Stitch. So, if anyone wants to join us in these, you're welcome to. Um, I'll read, I'll basically I'll show you what I'm doing. But, yeah, first weekend is going to be a Soda Stitch weekend, then the second weekend. I'm not sure if Cat, Catherine's, or Cat, I call her Cat, but um, it's going to be Mirabilia. Um, she has got a Chatelaine. I don't know if she's going to do that on the second weekend or if she's going to do a Mirabilia because she's got one in her stash, but she also has a Chatelaine she wants to start. So the second weekend, the 13th and the 14th, is going to be Mirabilia. Then the third weekend, 20th and the 21st, is going to be Heaven and Earth Designs. Now I've got, as you saw, they, I mean, they're the only charts I own of Heaven and Earth. Um, buying for two more. Let me bring those up because the one that I do plan to start with you. Okay. 
I have this one which I said I want to get um, my Wizard of Oz finished but it's gonna time um I've got that's what that fabric's gonna be for and I did have a 25 count but I'm gonna use that for the one my daughter chose um so I have that I have one hard copy of the full version of the Wizard of Oz but other than they're the only hay charts I own other than the freebies so the ones you saw today are all my hays uh, my Wizard of Oz was my first one I mean I've only been stitching properly for I mean I did some when I was a teenager and then I didn't and then I got back into it about three four years ago and personal problems I stopped for six months and I have I got started back into it about a year and a half ago and I've not looked back um, I mean I've still got things that I bought in the fall like when I first started and I was buying magazines in the six month period that I wasn't but I was only a one project at a time person as you can see that changed this year so yeah I don't own any heaven and earth other than these there's some lovely ones but I wanted to know if I was going to like it before I bought any more and I love it whether that's because I only work one day a month I want to try and get in two days a month at the minute on my Wizard of Oz but for next year I've allowed three days at least for Haid because I've got my weekend and the Stitch Mania are doing the full coverage on the 5th again and I also draw in the full coverage fanatics group I think um, I'll show you I have wrote down other bits and pieces but I've just colour coded, soda stitched, soda stitched, mirabilia, hayed, and then the fourth weekend. It's the fairy tale sampler. And then I put other bits in for stitch mania and full coverage. Now every month, I'm probably going to need more than one day for each of these. I've got the bands of variation because that's going to run through till September. And then this one is the class schedule sale, which I've just shown you. Well, shown you the tiny little bit of a start. And I can't show you a picture of that because I haven't got a picture of it. Um, so yeah, every month is the same. But for example... Okay. I've filled them in as I said I've got other side stitch fairy tales now this second week was mirabilia at the moment I don't own another mirabilia uh, unless the other one comes out which I know they are planning on releasing which might well be by August and I might not have even finished the other one but I haven't labelled it just in case I've only labelled sort of May June time uh, left the heaven and earth because again I've got those now this one is the fairy tale sampler again I've left that blank so if I finish that beforehand I will have to choose something else to replace that but either I've just got or Catherine's got because we're doing these together all year long um, so yeah and then we've got for example got work that whip so we've got full coverage on the 5th there's work that whip on the 15th these are supposed to be stitch mania starts but I'm just going to work any whip that I've already got uh, they've got to join stitches as stitch mania starts so maybe that one every month i don't know this is meant to be on the 18th but because i've got something planned in i'm going to do it on the 17th it's a year of starts again and then they've got color days throughout the year 
um, other days like well cross stitch day well I'm going to be stitching something anyway and then um, yeah there's just different things going on throughout those and the full coverage fanatics I mean the year long challenge is year by numbers sell for full coverage and I think that was to do 1200 stitches a month which sounds a lot but yeah I'm gonna give it a go and it has to be on full coverage obviously but yeah they're my plans as of now so if any of us want any of you want to join us on any of that let me know you're welcome to um don't plan to start a group unless there's obviously quite a few of you um but we can start a hashtag up or something it doesn't have to be the same charts just be like the same designer like soda stitch heaven on earth mirabilia obviously this one's a uh, dragon dreams i don't know if they do any other charts and as far as i know it's still in print um, yeah i don't know where she got this from it's 2000 to 2003 copyright on it so it's a fair age but yeah so yeah anybody's welcome to join us and that's finally it an hour and 40 minutes with five ten minutes now I have to keep going and coming back. So, long video again. I plan to hopefully come back in a couple of weeks. I've got some fabrics in order. Don't know when they'll come in because they've got to be dyed. I've got needle minders which are hopefully being posted on Monday because I've added to the order. They're my month's worth of needle minders and Catherine's just got back from being away and added new ones, so I put these in with that one. Um, so yeah, I know I have a couple more which I'll pay on Monday. Um, so yeah, I'll have those to show you next time. I think that's all, yeah, that's all I've got left to come in. And I don't plan on ordering much else, so I won't wait any haul like this for a while. She says. Um, so yeah, run through what I plan to do and a bit of 2018 plans. So yeah, I'll catch you all hopefully in a couple of weeks. As soon as I feel I've got enough to show you or um, or not, then hopefully the videos won't be as long. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, happy stitching and if you like it a thumbs up um, yeah uh, I don't think I've noticed any more shout outs but if anybody has shouted out please let me know down below um, so that I can thank them um, but I don't think there has been any more shout outs um, I did load a video up last week um, so feel free to go and check that one out for anyone that's interested um, but yeah this is my third actual floss tube I think or is it my fourth might be my fourth if I recognised that one last week so. so I'll see you all in a couple of weeks thanks for watching bye